Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest LTI Mindtree interview experiences for 2025 batch students, which happened on 8th October 2024. So in this particular video, total two interview experiences I will be sharing, as well as in the later part of the video, I will be telling you that from where you can prepare for the interviews. I have all the IT subject notes present with me in which commonly asked questions are there. So from where you can download those notes for your preparation. So I will be telling you in the later part of this video. So make sure that for each interview experience you watch this video till the end because every question is important because many of the times the questions do repeat in the interviews. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Okay. Before moving ahead, I have a dedicated playlist for LTI Mindtree interview experiences. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button as well as in the description box. Make sure to watch all the videos here and also do join this telegram group because this particular telegram group is specifically for 2025 batch students. Currently TCS, NQT and Mindtree discussions are going on in this particular group. Make sure to join it. Okay, all the links okay you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment okay so guys now let's start this particular video okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the first interview experience okay and then the second so first question of the interview was introduce yourself so guys again i have told you it is very important question as per your interview is concerned you can add your uh, you can add your uh, education background your skills your projects your internship your extracurricular activities your achievements all these things you can add in this particular answer okay around approx one to one and a half minute you should speak okay and it will be good for the interview i hope this question is clear to you next question was explain about the project so guys again whenever you are giving the interview for the it company make sure that you have at least two projects in your resume because you are a fresher you won't be having any real life experience so cover that experience with the help of projects make at least two good it projects in your resume and showcase them to the interview and how to explain your project in the interview i have made a dedicated video for it on my channel only i will give you the link of that video in the i button or in the description box do check that out next question is challenges faced in the project so many of you make projects based on machine learning so there is a lot of data so how to collect that data how to store that data how to filter out that data okay how to process that data so all these are challenges you can tell to the interviewer. I'm just telling you the examples, but it should be based on your actual experiences. Okay. The challenges you faced and how you overcame those. Okay. Moving to the next question. Some Linux commands were also asked why it was asked because I have mentioned in my intro. So again, your resume part, your introduction are very important because they only tell the interview interview that what type of questions he, he can ask. So first of all, do not lie in your resume. Okay, if you know only one skill, just add one skill, but be prepared to get questions asked from those topics which you have mentioned in the resume. So there is an example that Linux command was asked and he mentioned it in the intro. So it means that interviewer knows that, okay, this candidate knows Linux. So let's ask from Linux. Okay, so just try to be honest in the interview. Next is question regarding API. So first of all, what is API? It is a basically a code written on the server. So API is application programming interface. So, okay. So again, uh, why API things was asked because of the projects, because of the introduction that you are giving. So all these type of questions revolve around your resume and your projects and your introduction. So make sure to prepare them well. I hope this is clear to you. Okay. Next question was SQL aggregate functions. So there are many SQL aggregate function. There is sum, there is average, there is count, there is min, there is max. Okay. So these are the aggregate functions in SQL. Okay. And I have earlier in the video, I have told you that how to prepare for the interviews. I have the IT subject notes. So here I am. Okay. So on our top mid page, we have important interview IT subject notes. In these particular notes, we are covering total 12 subjects. Okay. C++, OOPS questions, Java questions, Python, DBMS, SQL coding questions, which are commonly asked in interviews, operating system, networking. Okay. Machine learning also, because I know many of you will have having the projects on machine learning. So commonly asked questions in interview for machine learning are there. So total 12 subjects, 12 PDFs are there in these particular notes for every subject approx 20 to 25 commonly asked and important interview questions are there in these PDFs. So if you are interested, if you want your last minute preparation, if you want to revise your concepts, then these notes can be beneficial for you. And they are just at a very nominal price of rupees 99. The links of these notes are in the 
description box as well as in the pinned comment so do check them out they will be very much beneficial for you for preparing for the interviews now let's continue the video so the next question was write a python program for even and odd number so this is the python program for even and odd you can share your screen you can write on the editor okay anything you can do just uh, ask the interviewer first next question was what is the difference between left join and right, right join so guys again all these type of questions are already present in those notes so just buy them and prepare for yourself okay many questions got repeated only in these interviews next question is what is the difference between where clause and having clause so where clause is used with select having clause is used with group by so this is the major difference so i hope it is clear to you next last question for this first interview experience was are you okay with any location so are you okay with relocation always say yes okay so i hope all these type of questions are clear to you so now moving towards the second interview experience okay so let's just uh, quickly go through those questions introduction i have told you very important questions can be asked from introduction as we have seen in first okay what is your domain any domain you can tell next is do you know java so the candidate said no i i said python so which function you use to convert string to integer so in c++ there is stoi in java there is some, something else and for every language there is something else so whichever language you have prepared so you should know the answer for it okay i hope it is clear to you this question is clear to you next is write the hello world python code so this is a simple one line code for hello world so you can write in the chat section only and you can ask the interviewer that if you if he wants to share the screen or not okay so moving to the next question what are the lambda functions in python again a very commonly asked question and again i have told telling you this question was also part of these notes only in python pdf so many of the questions that are present in these pdfs for different different subjects are getting repeated and will get repeated not only for mind tree but different different companies also so if you are preparing for any of these interviews then these notes can be beneficial for you okay links will find in the description box okay what are lambda functions they are just like functions with no name and a single statement okay next are what are oops concepts and oops concepts are guys so much important then in 10 out of 10 interviews this question will be asked so there are four types of oops concepts polymorphism encapsulation inheritance abstraction okay so how to explain them in the interview i have made a dedicated video for that on my channel again i will give you the link in the i button or in the description box okay moving towards the next question is what are the different types of audio types in html so again this question was asked from the project of the candidate okay again i am telling you make sure that everything that you are writing in your resume you should know their answers you should know the topics also okay introduction is important your resume is important your projects are important questions related to projects can be asked from you so do prepare them well i hope it is clear to you next is as last question of this interview was sql code was asked it was easy so just a normal table was given and we had to find all the students with age equal to 21 so this was a simple query that was given to you so i hope all the questions that we have discussed in this particular video are helpful to you make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and do write in the comment section that you want more such videos or not because the questions from these videos do get repeated in the interviews okay because there is a very like limited set of questions only that gets repeated so i hope all these questions are clear to you make sure to join our telegram group it is a dedicated telegram group for 2025 batch students the links will find in the description box and if you want to uh, for your last minute preparation and for revising any concepts you can check out these notes 12 subjects 12 pdfs are there for every subject around 20 25 questions are there are commonly and importantly asked in the interviews are there in these notes all the relevant links you will find in the description box thank you for watching this video do hit that like and subscribe button